Welcome to Memorial Stadium and the sea of red in the heartland of Lincoln, Nebraska. An uncommon place and home to an uncommon program with a championship pedigree. A Big Ten showdown coming conference games where the results will stick with you for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights taking on the winners of three straight, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Rutgers Scarlet Knights offense is on the field for the first time today. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. Quarterback on the keeper. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. From the gun, the running back has it. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Feeling some heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. The Scarlet Knights will send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Gets the first one of the day off and hoping he's not as busy as he was in that loss last week when he kicked it four times. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. So the Nebraska Cornhuskers offense will take the field for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Dropping back, it's Rayola. Pressure coming. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. The Cornhuskers line up to punt it away. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Finds his big tight end. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. From the gun, running back gets the gift. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They're trying to get to it. And he can't escape and down he goes. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point?
And the Scarlet Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Oi. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Scanning the field, it's Rayola. Just a short pass to the tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. After the short completion, it's now second down. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Inside the 45. Off he goes! Boy, are they loving that huge play. He's got it down to the nine. I love this play call. You want to get your playmakers the football in space. What a creative way. It's a little push pass by the quarterback. Get into the receiver's hands quickly and let him go make yards. And that big gainer on the last one has him ready to go from inside the 10. With the run on first and goal. Forges ahead from one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Trying to get to it. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. And that is an all-too-familiar sight. Listen, this team won last week, but they gave up four sacks. they got to protect this young man early in this game. Don't set the tone, and let's not go back to last week. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And as a holder picks his spot, it'll be a 25-yard attempt. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They'll try the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The give from the gun. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking deep down the right side. And he's got it inside the 25. A massive pickup on that one, and they're in business at the 21. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Barely time to catch our breath after that one, and they've got it first and 10, threatening just outside the red zone. From the gun, give on the inside. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Scarlet Knights are moving quickly down the field. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. And the Scarlet Knights line it up with a first and goal. 
They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now it's second and goal. Finds his big tight end. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Oklahoma State is down, but they are not out of it. Not inside Boone Pickens Stadium, one of the best home field advantages in all of college football. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by 7 to West Virginia. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Husker. Now, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Finds his man. It's Monaga. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Here's the handoff. Stopped almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. The Scarlet Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Coming after him. He'll try to do it himself. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. First and 10 for the offense. Running back goes in motion. To the air on first down. Gets rid of it. Got it in the middle. It's strong. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive. It's third and two. Caught in the backfield, it's Monaga. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. And the Scarlet Knights will call on their punt team. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And here
Here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Then that last drive, if you want to call it that, was efficient. One big run for a score, David. See if they can do it again. Yeah, and I find it hard-pressed. They're not going to give it right back to him. You break that long of a run, get a touchdown, Jesse. I'm assuming he's going to touch it again. You're absolutely right, Dave. Everybody in this stadium, I think, is expecting him to get it again, too. Big-time players make big plays in big games. Let's see what he can do here. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to the back. At the 45 on his way. Defense caught out of position and they get him down finally at the 38. Well, on that one, they decide to attack the left outside on the ground. And you see the speed by the ball carrier there. He's picking up a huge chunk of yards. Now, I can't imagine any reason they wouldn't just run that play again. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why not just go back to the well one more time? They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Wide out in motion. They'll give it to Johnson. Gets it inside the 25, down to the 22-yard line with a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Now the play fan. Finds his man. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. The Huskers have pushed it inside the 20. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Got some room in it to the goal line. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Corn Oscar. Can these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out, they'll get you a touchdown. That's a great drive by the offense. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, Dave. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. Runs through the tackle. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. That's caught. It's Miller. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He's looking to throw it. Unloads it left. He's got it. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Scarlet Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Second and ten after the previous play. He wants to throw it again. Pulls it in. It's Monaga. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting them the football, letting them get some positive yards. He's got his man. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. He's going to pass. With the catch, it's Monaga. 
And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Snags it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Rutgers. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Here's the return from inside his 10. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see... Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Getting the sack, getting the fumble. The offense starts with a short field. Going up top on first down. Fires deep toward the end zone. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. Right back up top on second and ten. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Monaga. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll throw on third and short. He's got his man. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Rutgers! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. But see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very interesting first two quarters in Lincoln. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. And the Scarlet Knights will line up to kick off and start the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He's got great speed. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Getting some heat. Grabbed over the middle, it's Fidel. 
He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. To the ground with the back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Here's a quick throw out to the left. Across the 25, he's got room. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. He's been a matchup problem all season long. Defenses just don't know how to solve the puzzle. And with that last catch, over 500 yards receiving now on the year for him. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Back to throw, it's Rayola. He makes a grab! Touchdown, Nebraska! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Air Force is currently ahead in this one, but they may need to rev up an F-16 if they want to turn this into a blowout today. They're up by 11 over Navy. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Looking for room. It's Monaga. Into the pile. Maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. He's going to run it. Short gain on the play before he slides. The Scarlet Knights decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Leaves it with the running back. At the 20, he's got space. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Husker! And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on offense. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. 
The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops from and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He'll pull it down and run. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Here comes the offense on second down. Movement here from the tight end. Takes a handoff. It's Monaga. And the Scarlet Knights get enough to move the chains. They've got it first and ten at the 50. They'll ride the hot hand. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. The Scarlet Knights will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop, Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Feeling some heat. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. And the Huskers send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. And now this offense will take the field again. Out of the gun, the inside give. Finds his way for three out to the 33. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Pressure coming. Trying to escape and get it himself. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. And the Scarlet Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. A fair catch called for and made. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really can anyone catch him? Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws, just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Incomplete and very lucky. That one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Corn Oscar! They add on another one, and they're about to push their record to 5-1. and one. Really nice job by the quarterback there of just letting the play develop. He had his eyes down in the middle of the field, and I think when he saw that deep middle area vacated, he said to himself, I've got a guy running right into that area. I'm throwing this thing on time. This is going to be a touchdown. That's exactly what happened. Lining up for the PAT. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three possession, 17 point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And that sack's not on the offensive line, fellas. The quarterback's got to get rid of the football. He had a lot of time to get through his progressions, and he just never let it go. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Scarlet Knights look to keep this drive humming. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Fires to the right. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's going to take off, and he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Still from the pocket, fires over the middle. Can't hook up on the long throw, and fourth down goes by the boards for this offense. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. The handoff to Johnson. Fights off a defender. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. The give to the back. At the 35, he's got room. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks it down. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Been showing them the run, now they'll throw it. Grab near the marker, it's Nayer. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. 
quick strike complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Trying to get to it. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. The Cornhuskers will put this one away. And he'd hope to pin him deep. Instead, it will be a touchback. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of the explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ball game. We got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. Looking deep. He's got it inside the 15. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. And there's no quit in this team. Obviously, they're trailing late in the game, but they're trying to make it happen. We've seen two big plays now, back to back. They're putting pressure on this defense. Got it. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Second and goal coming up. Trying to slam in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They'll come to the line just trying to keep their hope alive on third and goal. Going for six. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, State University of New Jersey. Number six. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. you got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Tulsa is in front. They've answered the bill today, but they still have to finish the job, and that is no sure thing right now. They're up by 13 over Army. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Trying to burn this defensive back. He got it. Goes out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they'll be set up and in great position here. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska! And they take it in for six more points. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. He wants to throw. That's caught. It's long. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. And the Scarlet Knights want to crank the tempo. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. On first down, here comes this offense. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The run to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Huskers will punt it away on fourth down. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics, they're going to roll this game tape back to show both offense. Dial it up and let it run. I and mean, that's essentially what we saw in this game. It didn't matter what either offensive coordinator was calling. Everything seemed to work through throwing the football in the intermediate passing game, the RPOs, the run game. David, this was just clinical offensive football. And offenses have evolved so much. They can do so many different things, and they know how to use their playmakers, get speed and space, make those big plays. So that's why offenses are ahead of defenses. In this game, it was no different. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.